All right, so I just got home from driving up the six hours from South Florida, so very, very tired, but uh, the work never ends. So just got back and now we have to unload. Gabby went out and picked up produce donations. So now we have to unload and then organize all this, so. It's a lot, but we're grateful for Publix. For, I, uh, I know, it's awesome. Like it's a welcome burden, you know, like we're very thankful for it, but. Oh, she would like to rest. Look at Comet. He's happy to see me. Hi, big guy. Hi, big man. I know. Gabby's in the animal kitchen. Hi, Bam. This fridge is like. Hi, Comet. Hi, Comet. Hi, big guy. This is wild. This big friendly turkey. Hi, Comet. He's so funny. That is the current situation. It's a little bit of a mess. Look at this. I can't possibly fit any more. Man, we're going to have to get another fridge. This is incredible. The tortoises are going to be so happy. But we got so much. Even these little, like, snack packets for the coatis with, like, the pretzels and stuff. That's our meat-only Tomorrow's gonna be a feast day, right? A feast. We're gonna give everybody a ton of food tomorrow. They even give us like little little plants. I think that's like basil. Yeah. <laughs> There's still so much more. Yeah. Well let's um let's prioritize what needs to be refrigerated, what doesn't. What we're gonna feed tomorrow doesn't need to be refrigerated today. Yeah, all the lettuce we're gonna feed all of this tomorrow too. Tortoises, we have to just go through and make sure the rubber bands are all out. But all this for the tortoises. We got so many of these for the pigs. <laughs> well, those don't need to be refrigerated. Yeah, but I mean, there's so many. I just I don't want them to get moldy since they're technically expired. Mm -hmm. They're expired by like two days. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, it doesn't it doesn't have any refrigeration requirement. I, I would use this space for things that need to be refrigerated. Oy, 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 my goodness. <laughs> it's a good burden to have. All right, so now we're in the golf cart going to feed the nocturnal animals and check on everybody. There's the koatis. Hi, girls. We just got a new box up of our Amazon wish list. We could set it up tomorrow. A new little nest box for them. Jet, are you hungry? Are you hungry? Got Jet and Asami. Look at the lights in the golf cart. It's so funny. All right, so yeah. let me feed him. I have Asami. Okay. Hi, Jet. Oh, there you go, buddy. There's your food. So he's got some apple, his ground rabbit. That's all he cares about. Uh, exotic canine diet and some carrot. There you go. We also supplement his diet with some NutriCal, and so that's gonna help out with any uh, digestive issues, give him a lot of uh, vitamins and minerals and whatnot. Oh yeah, well now he's running around being a psycho. <laughs> he might be going to bury some food. He likes to do that. <laughs> oh, near him. He's all excited. I think he sees Clover. You excited? Bam, bam. Hi, Jet. Hi, Jet. Don't 
don't bite, and then you'd be nice with a chihuahua. <laughs> She's not having it. Bam is like, She's nope. She's not having it. We gotta have Clover in here during the day and do another little play date. So a lot of people ask if we would get him a friend. If someone, you know, needs a home for their fennec fox, definitely. Um, I don't think a lot of people realize that exotic animals uh, are thousands of dollars. So for a fennec fox, it's about $3,500 to $4,000. So we're not gonna spend that. We can't justify spending that, you know, just to get him a friend. He's happy, he plays with the dogs, but you know, if one came along needing placement, absolutely, but we're not gonna go out and buy one. I know we had a lot of questions about that. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna go spend four grand to buy a fennec fox when mm -hmm. we're a rescue that will get more in time. Yep. We'll end up with another one eventually anyways. Maybe even five, look at the Quadamundis. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> There you go, Sami. Oh, this Chunky's going. Oh, look at this girl. She's nothing but your butt. You want to turn around and show people your face or just your butt? So she's got banana, carrot, celery, apple, cabbage, broccoli. Lots of good stuff in there. But she's just going to sniff it. And sniff it and sniff it. That's what she likes to do. And probably eat it later. Oh, she wants to play. Oh, look at her. Oh, this chunk. This chunk skunk. Oh, look at her. She wants to play. Crazy girl. Oh, this crazy girl. Mmm, some banana. She had a little stomping moon, so that's her being, being playful. You gonna eat or are you gonna play? Oh, she wants to play. Yeah. Now it's all dirty. <laughs> She's gonna run back there and eat it away from me. Now Gabby has Olaf, I'm driving the cart back, we still got some stuff on here, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and end the video, and it's a short one, but it's a travel day video, so hopefully you guys enjoyed, and bye bye, bye, -bye. good night, bye bye, bye bye, bye, -bye. and then tomorrow will be a feast video of giving everybody all the new produce. Bye.